Hey guys, it's Freezer here with A-Spec Airsoft, and today we have a video review of the Magpul PTS Assault Rifle. This is a very, very nice rifle from Magpul and GNP. You can get this gun for $400 off of aspecairsoft.com, and there is a link in the description. So, let's open up the box. So, after you take off the box top, there will be the styrofoam. Take that off, put it to the side because you don't need it, and there will be paperwork on top of the gun. The paperwork is an A-Spec Airsoft warranty. The warranty lasts 30 days, and if you have any questions, you can call the number on the bottom of the sheet. An A-Spec Airsoft chrono and inspection sheet. This weapon was chronoed at 350 to 360 FPS with .2 BBs and was tested and inspected by Adam. So this is what it will look like after you get rid of the paperwork and the styrofoam. There is the gun, which is wrapped in bubble wrap, and a Magpul PTS bag. And this is what it will look like outside of the bubble wrap. Inside the package there is a very nice Ziploc Magpul PTS bag which contains a black metal flash hider which is threaded with a 14mm counterclockwise thread, a 120 round Magpul PTS mid cap, and your Dark Earth Magpul PTS MOE. You can also get this in black for the same price off AspecAirsoft.com. And keep in mind, for the sake of the review, we have added the black metal flash hider. So now let's talk about the history of the Magpul PTS MOE. The Magpul PTS MOE is an experimental rifle as of right now, so there is no official history for it. However, it is essentially an M4 with Magpul MOE parts, such as the stock, the pistol grip, the flip-up sights, the lower receiver, the magazine, and the front handguard. Magpul Industries Corporation is a firearms accessories corporation and manufacturer that is based in Erie, Colorado in the United States. They take their name from their first product, which is the Magpul, which aids in users pulling the magazine out of their pouch, vest, and or webbing. Now that we've talked about the history of the Magpul PTS MOE, let's talk about the features of the rifle. This gun, being made and licensed by Magpul PTS, is stamped numerous times. Actually, it's stamped 18 times, as seen here, 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 and here. And now that you have ample evidence that your gun is in fact made by Magpul, let's talk about some of the other features to this weapon. A five-point retractable stock. Next up is the pistol grip. You can see it looks very similar to an M4 pistol grip. However, on most M4 pistol grips, there's usually a sharp curve right here, which can hurt the inside part of your thumb right here. So what Magpul has done is they've added this cushion right here, which greatly increases comfort, as well as adding a lot of texture to the grip on the front, both sides, and as well as on the rear of the pistol grip. The fire selector switch on this weapon is not ambidextrous. It is on the left side of the weapon. They're safe, semi-auto, and fully automatic. A removable Magpul MOE flip-up sight. Simply push this lever here, and they flip up. These are the Magpul MOE sights. You can see they line up right there, but also on these flip-up sights, you flip it down and have the larger aperture as opposed to the pinhole aperture that it comes with. The bolt on this weapon does pull back, and you just grab the charging handle right here and pull it back, and it exposes the hop-up unit. However, the dust cover on this weapon does not close, it just flips open, it can't lock into place due to its uh, construction, but you can buy aftermarket uh, dust covers that will close. The mag release on this weapon is on the right side of the weapon, just push the button here, the magazine comes out to put it back in, you just put it back in. However, it can also accept M4 mags. A standard delta ring, the front sling mount on this weapon is located underneath the front sight post. However, you can see, it's right here, there's a slight separation between the actual sling and the metal part that is attached to the gun. There is a rubberized coating on here that keeps your sling from chipping away at the sling mount or to keep uh, from the sling mount breaking or your sling breaking for that matter. The stock contains three sling mounts. There is one here, one here, and one right here. I would recommend using both of these, however, you could do it on this one, it would just be kind of awkward. You can see right here above the magwell, there's this kind of serration right here. Magpul has added that because a lot of users tend to not use the front hand grip. They like to hold their gun like this, so this adds a nice bit of grip right here to anyone who's holding their gun in this position. It's a very nice little feature that Magpul's added that just adds to the accessibility of the weapon. 
This weapon does not come with a battery, so the best battery that we recommend you get would be a small 9.6, which you could squeeze in there. In order to install the battery, you pull back the delta ring, and the bottom part of the front hand grip comes off. You plug the battery in and get it in its nice little slot, and then you simply put the underside of the front hand grip back on, and it's ready to go. The flash hider for this weapon is normally the US regulation orange, bright orange plastic. However, this gun comes with a black all metal one, which you can fit on there, and it is threaded with 14mm counterclockwise threads. The metal components on this gun include flash hider, the outer barrel, the front sight post, the delta ring, the mag release, the trigger, the fire selector switch, the charging lever, the dust cover, and the bolt, the upper and lower receivers. The polymer components on this gun include the front hand guard, the flip up sights, the magazine, the pistol grip, and the MOE Magpul stock. So before we go over to Delta One for the internal reports, I would just like to say a few things about this gun. I personally like this gun. I'm not an M4 guy, but I must say I do like what GNP and Magpul have done with this. Uh, a lot of the nice little features they've added in there. I like the way they've uh, they positioned the front hand grip. The little serration they have right here in front of the mag is really nice, as is the pistol grip. The stock is very nice, and the rubber butt plate is uh, very nicely textured. I'm a little disappointed that I can't close this, because on most M4s you can, and I just like hearing the sound that goes and the bolt falls down, or the dust cover falls down, excuse me. I think that's really cool, but it's alright. Um, the mag is very nice. It is plastic. I love P-Mags. I think they're really cool. Uh, overall, I think this is a very nice gun. I would buy this gun if I was looking for an M4. It's a bit pricey at $400, but that's actually a really good price. So I would definitely recommend this gun to anyone looking for an M4 who has the budget to purchase this weapon. So now let's go over to Delta One for the internal reports. Thank you, Freezer. Now for the internal reports. It comes with a long type GMP M120 motor, a version 2 gearbox, 7mm ball bearings, a polycarb piston, and their pistons, I must say, are the best pistons on the market for the price. For 20 bucks, they're the best. That's what they're known for. Their motors and how good their quality of their M4s are, such as this. A 363mm inner barrel. So, I honestly love what GMP has done. Uh, it this make Their gearboxes are so well constructed and are perform so nicely it makes me actually want to buy an M4 from them. Other than that I'm not an M4 person so but this is one heck of an M4 I must say I'm very impressed I actually like this quite a lot so back to you Freezer. Thank you Delta One for the internal reports. Now for the bottom conclusion. GMP has teamed up with Magpul to make an excellent excellent rifle their PTS division has done an excellent job replicating this weapon although it is still experimental what basically what Magpul does is they take everything that's established and they make it better in every way. They've improved upon the M4 front hand grip, the stock, the pistol grip, the magazine, the upper and lower receiver, as well as the flip up sights. I love everything on this weapon. It's stamped in a million places. They've even added little touches like this, uh, like the serration right here on the grip in front of the magazine. Really, really helpful and useful. That's something I would personally love. And like I said earlier, I'm not an M4 guy, but if I was looking for an M4, this would be one of my first choices. And if you have the money, this is definitely one of the best M4s you can buy out there on the market right now. You can get this gun for $400 off of aspecairsoft.com. Once again, there's a link in the description. So this has been our review of the GNP Magpul PTS licensed MOE Experimental Assault Rifle. Thanks for watching.